Hi, my name is Mitchell Bazina. I'm a director of product marketing at Palatine Networks. Today, we're here to talk about Cortex XDR. Cortex XDR is the industry's first detection response product to span network, endpoint, and cloud data. It allows you to stop sophisticated attacks in their tracks with severe accuracy. It then allows you to adapt your defenses. So we have data coming in from network, endpoint, and cloud. The Palatine Networks products acts as sensors. Sensors for the network or prevention products include our NGFW, our next generation firewall, and the Global Protect Cloud Service. Our endpoint products include traps, and of course, our cloud products span VM series and the host of new cloud solutions coming from Palatine Networks. These products work together to prevent today's known and unknown threats, but they also collect data enabling detection and response. What we do with Cortex XDR is we collect activity from network, endpoint, and cloud into our cloud based data lake called Cortex Data Lake. This data lake correlates the individual data from each of these sources natively within the storage unit itself. The pre correlated data allows us to draw conclusions from the data itself without requiring the analyst to tie together different forms of data and have the experience to do so. Over the top of that pre-correlated data, we can also apply machine learning and analytics to draw conclusions and enable different parts of the security operations process. Alert triage, investigation, detection, hunting, and of course, response. Let's work through that process. First, we're going to start with prevention. We need the best prevention possible in place. This reduces the amount of workload on the security operations team. With this in place and the correlated activities and data, it means that there's less to do, less alerts generated, and more prevented at the perimeter or at the endpoint at those different vectors and data sources. Let's walk through the capabilities needed for the security operations team and start with detection. So when we look at detection and behavior analytics, we aim to understand each individual action formed within the network from endpoint, network, and cloud data. Those actions are analyzed over time. Over time, we can then identify differences and anomalies within the network endpoint and cloud data related to the users and devices within that network. Here, we can string together a series of events that would otherwise be imperceptible to any prevention architecture or to a team of threat hunters. But because we're using specific machine learning techniques, we're able to detect threats with pinpoint accuracy and identify those low and slow targeted attacks. The other element of detection is actually hunting, where we enable the security team access to all of that endpoint, cloud, and network data in order to look for and identify threats unique to an organization or part of an investigative process that's currently underway. That's a nice lead into investigations. Let's look at a scenario for investigating. So investigations are done in two different ways inside of security operations team. The first is alert triage, where an analyst is having a quick view of an alert that's generated from any security tool, such as the Palatine Networks line of prevention products. This could be a firewall creating an alert for argument's sake. It could also be the result of hunting or a, a form of detection within the Cortex XDR product itself. Each alert is a lead generated and something that needs to be investigated. That alert triage team needs to take a quick look at a series of events here, Cortex XDR provides a root cause analysis for you. Let's take a look at a scenario. Here we have a set of processes that occurred on an endpoint. We have effectively an Outlook email with a zip attachment. That zip was downloaded and run by an unsuspecting user. Inside of that zip file was a pdf.bat file. This, of course, is a script. And the user clipped that script, thinking it was a PDF file. This launched command prompt.exe. Command prompt.exe launched a command to initiate PowerShell. So in this series of events, we have a security analyst needing to evaluate whether or not this needs further investigation. With just this information, it's really hard to tell if this is bad or if something else needs to happen. So what we do is first, Cortex XDR identifies the root cause. It says this information 
or this executable started the chain of events. Within this chain of events, there's of course forensic detail. That forensic detail is used by in incident investigators to do deep dive analysis. But for a security analyst taking a quick view of an alert, it's really too much information to go through. It requires a lot of experience and the combination of network, endpoint and cloud data is provided to you by Cortex XDR. But we also provide a contextual summary of what occurred. Here we say PDF dot bat file was run. We also add the context that a command operated, a command pushed data or pushed information to PowerShell in encoded in an encoded or base64 encoded message. With this helpful information, an analyst can quickly look at this and say, okay, we have an odd file that was run. We have a base64 encoded command that was run by PowerShell, and this is suspect. This easy information means any analyst can, can take a quick validation of this particular chain of events. Once this investigation has been escalated, a security analyst or an incident responder can actually look at the forensic detail to determine the actions that need to happen next. This includes things like isolating an endpoint or killing a process, as well as several additional commands needed in the incident response process. Let's talk a little bit about response. They shouldn't just be the remediation actions that are implied. They should also take knowledge from the investigation and apply it forward. So with response, what we're able to do is take those little divots of information, such as the pdf.bat file, the encoded command, or maybe the registry key that it created afterwards, and really use that information going forward. We can do that by creating a new detection. That means that we can identify a future threat going forward that essentially creates a register key from an encoded PowerShell command. We can also add context to future investigations by creating a different customizable rule that's there just to add information or context to investigation, just like we did going through this scenario. What this does is create a cyclical, cyclical approach where each investigation leads to a response. That response leads to a new detection or additional context in the investigation itself. This is one of the key attributes of Cortex XDR. Let's quickly recap the entire process. We have a prevention first appro approach that allows us to prevent everything we can. Secondly, we enable detection both accurate detection using behavioral analytics that uses network, endpoint, and cloud data, unlike any NTA or UABA tools available in the market today. Those accurate detections also enable threat hunting and accurate threat hunting using simple search queries for the security team. Every detection, threat hunting event, or alert generated by any security tool, such as those at Palo Alto Networks, can have a one-click integration with the investigative results allowing any security analyst to investigate an alert with ease and accuracy. It identifies the root cause for you and provides a clear picture of the events that occurred. This is unlike any EDR tool available in the market that are limited to just endpoint data, so no agent, no data. Here, we're bringing together network, endpoint, and cloud data to provide that clear activity that is occurring for that particular investigation. And we're simplifying the process, making it fast, and easy for a security operations analyst in order to evaluate and do deeper investigative analysis. Lastly, we're moving to response. Response just doesn't stop short at remediation. It also allows the knowledge gained from the investigation itself to be applied forward to detect future attacks or makes future investigations easier to evaluate. With Cortex XDR, we really are changing the security operations process for every security team making alert triage simple and easy, making investigations faster, and allowing security teams to detect malicious activity across a broad range of data. But not only that, enable threat hunting with a simple, powerful querying process. For more information on Cortex XDR, visit paloaltonetworks.com. And if you're already here, reach out to your local representative for a demo of this great product. Thank you.